Johnny a good start to the season, as we said to John, had an opportunity. Derry, I suppose for you to get home to see the folks at home as, get, as well at the weekend. Well, that's it. I suppose my dad will be there anyway, and my brother. Um, they'll come across. My mum doesn't go to the games. She's actually never seen me play football before. She gets too nervous, so she won't be there. But I'm sure there'll be friends and family and that up there. Um, look, it's going to be... Obviously, last week was a good start, as you say. Good, solid start. I think second half particularly we played... We played very well. And, um, there's probably a lot more to come from us as well as the team settles and gets together. And um, Friday night now is going to be, no doubt about it, it's going to be tough going to the Brandywell, it always is. But um, if we go up there and play like we did second half last week, then hopefully we can come back with the right result. And massive changes really from last season. Ten players gone out, seven new ones in. OK, Ian Turner and Gerard returning to the club. But uh, you know they seem to have gelled pretty well, haven't they? I would say so. I think particularly the, probably the trip away in pre-season helped us a lot up to Drogheda as well. You know, it, when you're away in a hotel with lads for a length of time, you know you have to talk to everyone that's there. You end up in people's company and that, and it was brilliant for us all, I think. Um, but they have settled in very well. They're, the quality of footballers that they are obviously helps massively. I mean, Greg and Kenny, two brilliant players coming in from Pats that have been there and done it all. Stephen Dooley, an unpredictable winger who in my opinion, is going to be very, very exciting going forward. Turner, as you say, coming back, our old and Shawnee started great as well. So I think, um, you know, as it goes forward, hopefully we're going to be exciting to watch and, um, you know, fingers crossed we can keep progressing week to week. Rory mentioned it to John, <coughs> even in a, a poll last night on Soccer Republic, 7 out of 11 voted for Cork City to win the league this season. Is that extra pressure or have they all suddenly got a kind of a Pauline conversion to... Cork. Look well. Personally, I don't watch Soccer Republic anyway. It's not. It's not something that I that I keep an eye on, or I don't really, you know, follow papers or websites or anything. But um, look, it's nice that people think we're going to have a chance. And I suppose, like the last two years, we've been in the top two in the country. So naturally, we want to progress and push on. And the next step would be would be to win the league. But at the end of the day, all we can focus on is ourselves. Um, we need to make sure that week to week our performances are excellent because we know when they slip up. Is going to be pounced upon. There's plenty of other teams there to take advantage. So, um, first and foremost, we need to focus on ourselves and next steps Friday night. How are you finding life in left back? I'm enjoying it actually. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a change. Um, probably there's just a few small nuances and differences in in where you take your touches and where you go forward and different things like that that you have to get used to. But um, I suppose I played there against Limerick and then Dundalk and and Bowes and. Um, I'm enjoying it all right. Like at the end of the day, the competition for places is so fierce that it doesn't matter where you play. You just want to be in the team, you know. So um, I'm enjoying it. And hopefully, it's something that I can perfect going forward. You know. Do you see yourself being there for a while, or is it a case of wherever you're needed? I suppose. Listen, it's a case of wherever I'm needed. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain about anywhere that I'm put. You know, it's this is football, and you want to be in the team. Um, but like I said, it'd be nice to get a run in, in one position and, and try and perfect it as best I can. You know. Confidence must be high after those wins over Dundalk and Bulls, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'd say so. You can see it in training. You know, there's a nice little buzz, and um, I think, as I say, the players that we've brought in, the quality that we've got now, the the five sides in training are frantic and hectic, and the quality is very, very high, which is great. Like it's what you, it's what you want every day when you come to training. So you know, we're looking forward to Friday night, but at the end of the day, we're under no illusions. It's going to be a tough challenge up there. It always is in the Brandywell. You know, if we're not if we're not on our game, we won't come away with three points. Simple as that. The long journey is that. Does that affect you, or is it a bit of a myth? I'm sure I'm well used to it anyway. Going up that way, you know. Um, but no, nah, I don't think it does affect you. I mean, we'll go up the night before and get together, and we'll be well rested on Friday. Then we'll be ready to go. Um, obviously, the journey back's probably less nice. You know, getting back at six in the morning's never nice. The sun's starting to come up again. You know, it's not it's not ideal. But you just rest up as best you can on the way back and recover all day Saturday. And you know, we'll be ready to go then come Sunday. Just like Rory said, there, John, the recent results from the Dundalk win and Bowes Saturday night does that sort of reinforce your own expectations over the season? Start you've made. Um, for a better start, really. You couldn't have asked for a better start, probably, but that's all it is. It's a start, and it's something that we have to build on. You know, we know what we're capable of when we do that, and I suppose we've shown, we've shown in patches what we can do over the last couple of weeks. The second half against Bowes, probably maybe the first half against Dundalk, we were very good as well. So, you know, if we can continue to put that together and put runs together where it, you know, we can put that together over ninety minutes, and as John said, the combinations start coming together and and things like that, then hopefully, you no, know, we can keep progressing week to week and get even better as the season goes. What about the three games in eight days? I'm coming up, Terry Lamper and Dundalk. You know, you kind of set a target for that. Six or seven points, or no, there's no take game by game. Game by game, first things first. Derry sitting on Friday night. There's no, 
It's very hard when you set targets of points because you know you're looking, you're you're almost looking into the future. First of all, like at the end of the day, all we can focus on is now, getting ready today for tomorrow, and then when Friday comes, we'll be more than ready for it. You know, so the first things first, we have to focus on Derry on Friday night, go up there and do what we can to get the three points, and then we move on to Longford after.